That is a, a signal of intent. The real question is, what is the future of the British Armed Forces? What do we look for them to do? What do we want from them? What is the threat we're up okay, against? We want them to go and to Nick Estonia Carter, and make a contribution. Nick Carter to has partner. laid that out today, and it should be welcome that he's he's come forward. You know, he's he's had this enlightened point of view that the character of conflict is changing, and we now need to have a national. Down to numbers, and I, and I do hear this line of two percent being trotted out. It's not really to do with that either. Actually, it's it's all about capabilities. It's what we can do, um, and the adversaries we're up against. We're part of NATO, which is a very strong alliance, uh, but they expect things from us too, you know, things like amphibious warfare and so on that was certainly on the list for um, getting reduced when uh, when the proposals were leaked a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, I've been saying for some time that the character of conflict is changing and the only thing that really should define our military is, is the enemy we're up against. I think, yes, we're paying 2%. Yes, you know, defence expenditure since 28, uh, 2016, sorry, is increasing. But uh, look, the, the, the threat is intensifying. The threat is growing. The Prime Minister herself has said that. Well, I would defend uh, Philip Hammond and when he was handling defence. I think he faced uh, similar challenges. Um, and there's no point looking backwards to what, what has gone wrong. We need a, a vision for defence. What is UK defence for? What does it look like in 10 or 15 years? And General Nick's contribution to that today uh, is extremely welcome. No, wait, with defence it's the same. The threat is changing. And as politicians, we have to meet that. Right. There is so no you, use having your ideological we have to have higher taxes. Without meeting you want uh, more the challenge money. that we're expected you to want more money by on people who vote for us. You want more